We've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. With that, let's get you out to Silicon Valley, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, as we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, it was a common sight in the 80s and 90s, not quite as frequent since, but it's back. Playoff football in the Bay Area here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Levi's Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was deafening. They're set for football as the 49ers get ready to do battle with the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Decision to come out is gonna cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. How do you break down his game so far? Just the one touchdown pass, but sometimes the touchdown pass stat category, that doesn't tell the whole story. It really doesn't, not until you balance it with the error side, you know? And in this case, he hasn't thrown any interceptions. So a lot of people would call this almost a pedestrian game, kind of a bus driver game. But that's just really wrong. Being a bus driver is a good thing if you're running a football team because that means you're in control and you're taking your team to the right places. Yeah, he's been pretty solid. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 15 there and the Packers have a first. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook tough to defend because you think it's a go route and then he breaks it back on the comeback there's one other thing you need as well a well thrown ball exactly right Gav, a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route so from the 36 now first and 10 Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He's going to go for a big play downfield. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Throwing his Rodgers on third down. A throw caught by Kumaro. And he'll go down, and that will do it for Here the go. third Here quarter of action. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here in Santa Clara. It's the Packers who have the football, but in need of points as we begin quarter number four. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Again, now throw with Rodgers. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Jimmy Graham, the intended receiver. But it's going to be second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. 
But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Rodgers again here on second and 10. And that's complete to Adams. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 25-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. and 10. Here's Rodgers. The connection made. It's Graham. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. That's back-to-back -back plays of over 20 yards. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end, selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner, and with good timing, you get a completion as we just saw there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. On the toss, here's Williams. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets them back now for second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On second and goal, Rodgers. It's Williams on the catch. They get only a yard there. Now it's third and goal. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Touchdown, Packers! Alan Lazard there to make the grab as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. That was quite the call down around the goal line on fourth and goal. Yeah, they faked the run. Pull it out, throw it, and as a defense, I've been in that spot before, and we see it all the time. You almost have to overcommit against the run. You have to almost sell out and say, they're going to run it, go make a play. They got fooled on that one. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good, and an important one that is, as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. This fielded at the two. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Matt Breed in the offense heading back out. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're a back because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. You've probably got some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block. 
but they're helping out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. First and ten. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. Personally, I think they've got to go somewhere else with the football. They've got him bracketed out there in double coverage. Makes it hard to fit it in time after time. It would have had to have been an absolutely perfect go, pass and not good enough. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the draw play, Coleman. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. What makes a draw play like that successful? Well, we did see where he made the first wave miss, and that was a big part of it. But a lot of it is just being actors back there, making the defense think it's going to be a pass. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Working from the gun, Garoppolo got the connection here to Bourne. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. If you're going to take a shot down, feel second and one is a perfect time to do it. If you're going to be in heavy run defense, you should have good windows to throw it downfield. And it looked like there was something there right here after go, the snap, go. but the defense able to recover. Here we go, third and one. Gut check time on both sides. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. But sometimes, Brent, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there, a big third down conversion. said and done. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Well, let's see who's faster. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. They run with Burita. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one. But this time, they get him behind the line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to have a third down. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports.
So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. This is Breda. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by Gold is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So now Rodgers in the pack. Down 20 to 17. A minute 50 to play. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. Clock running here under 90 seconds to go. He'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44, and this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. And that one, oh, it's going to hurt big time. You're in the two-minute drill trying to get your guys down the field, and it's looking like they're going to go up just short, as this is definitely not his best throw, and it'll wind up being intercepted. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Here so here's a first and 10 hey. at the 38. Two times, two times. Hey, four down, four down. Hey, hey. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. He hits his target. It's the tight end, Torlolo. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Down to a knee for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. for the 49ers. This one about to be on ice. Oh, 
And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Down to a knee goes Garoppolo, and that ought to do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did.